Some unfinished business for Hideki Matsuyama at the Zozo Championship, carrying a one-shot lead in a Sunday, looking to win in his home country. But there are low scores out there. Some of the chasers already making a move. George Savarikas with Dom Boulay. Dom, let's take a look at some of the early highlights. We start with Sebastian Munoz. Playing alongside Matsuyama in the final group, starting the day four back, pars the opening two holes here on the par three third. Beautiful tee shot, makes the putt, closes the gap by one shot. Munoz moving to seven under. Brendan Steele on the fourth for birdie. Birdie to second. This is a really difficult hole, the fourth, the toughest on the golf course. But when you make 50 footers like that for a birdie, it really does help. Two under after four. Steele on a bit of a run this front nine. Hideki Matsuyama, five straight pars until the sixth. This for an eagle three, George. He loves this hole. It's gone birdie par, birdie eagle on the four rounds. And look at the crowd. Matsuyama at 12 under, opening up his lead, but Brendan Steele attempting to chase him down. Birdie's on two, four, six, and now seven. Four under after seven holes for the American. Closes the gap to just two. So Matsuyama at 12 under, two shot lead over Brendan Steele and Cameron Tringali, who is one under so far in his round. For Hideki, some revenge on the mind after a run up finish two years ago. Hideki certainly gave it his best, but that doesn't look like it'll be enough. Make room on the mountaintop. Tiger Woods has matched Sam Snead with 82 PGA Tour wins. 正直よくはないですけど。試合はね、それでも始まると思うんで、いいプレーがね、できればファンの皆さんも喜んでもらえると思うんで、頑張りたいなと思ってます。NBC Sports and the PGA Tour. Proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Chiba, Japan, just outside Tokyo, it's live final round coverage of the Zozo Championship. A sunny afternoon here in Japan as we're located 30 miles northeast of downtown Tokyo at Accordia Golf Narashino Country Club. And we saw tough scoring conditions the past couple days. Rainy and chilly Friday, followed up by a blustery Saturday. But today, we're seeing a much more gettable golf course with birdies out there. Already a back nine, 29 turned in. Golf fans in the area, they've been waiting two years for this event to return to Chiba. 5,000 spectators allowed per day on the grounds. They're pulling for Japan's own Hideki Matsuyama. I'm George Savarikis with Golf Channel analyst Don Boulay, and on course with our final group is where we find Allison Whitaker. At Narashino Country Club. As our final group is just making their way to the eighth tee, and let's say hello for the first time to Allison Whitaker. What a great day it is to be out here with this group. The atmosphere has been a little bit different so far already today. I've noticed that the crowds are a little bit jumpier. They're a little bit more excited. They've been moving on after Hideki's played. So that's going to be a little bit more of a challenge for Tringali and Munoz today. But it is gorgeous conditions. This is what you dream of. Cool in the shade, low 20s, low 70s, whichever way you look at it, here in the sunshine. They are fanatical fans out here in Japan, but they're very respectful. All the players have been commenting this week how, how knowledgeable and respectful this crowd is. Dom, as Hideki resets, what do you think he learned from that experience two years ago when he came up short against Tiger? And you were here at that event. Yeah, I was. I mean, he, he started the day behind Tiger, so it was a different scenario. He's got the lead heading into this final round, a one-shot lead. And, well, he's been playing great golf. He said he wasn't playing that well two years ago, but uh, he's certainly been playing great golf this 
this week. He is in control, and that eagle on the sixth hole really does help. Five pars to start with. He didn't really have any great chances, just, you know, 15, 20 footers, all of them. But to make a 40 footer, give himself a two shot lead, he must be feeling quite comfortable right now. Done so much of that was set up because of the drive as well. He was the only one that hit the fairway, which afforded him the chance to attack. The other two had dreadful lies. They had to play a little bit more defensive, defensively with that second shot when he could put the pedal down. Real turning point. Another oh. gorgeous drive for Hideki. Yeah. Must find the fairway here because the pin is tucked behind the bunker and he is right in the middle of the fairway. On the 11th, this long par four, Luke List went out in four under 30. This is his third shot. Tough par four, the 11th. Real tough stretch of holes. Nine, 10, 11, 12, seen it all week. We will slip back to the eighth. Cameron Tringali up next. Just a gentle dog leg round to the right. It doesn't really play that much. You, you don't have to overly shape the golf ball off the tee. But like Dom said, you want to be on the fairway with the pin over on the left-hand side today. A little less access to it. It's a bullet from Tringali. Right in the middle. Most players hit driver here yesterday, but three woods for Matsuyama and Tringali. Up ahead on the eighth green, Matt Wallace for birdie even so far in his final round. He needs to get a move on. Six back now. Oh, like that five back. Beautiful putt. See how quick these greens are, how pure they are. Sebastian Munoz with driver on the eighth. No one would believe you, Dom, if you said anything bad about the conditions on this golf course. It is pristine, one of the best that I've seen in a long time. This is leaking right for Munoz. Something hard, oh, some solid woodwork. Each hole here at Maraschino Country Club, framed by the tree line. We'll see what type of lie Munoz was able to draw. Up on the eighth green, Brandon Grace for Burke. Grace now at six under par, but we'll need to make a serious birdie run if he's going to be any type of threat to Hideki Matsuyama down the stretch. Can Brendan Steele continue this birdie barrage? Looking for another one on the eighth. Yeah, to make it three in a row and to close the gap to one. Go, go, go. Just have to hit it. Well, you can see guys leave it short on these screens. That did take a little bit of a bobble, though. Still off to a great start. Brendan Steele was hoping to dial up next week on tour from one island to another. The PGA Tour makes their way to the Butterfield Bermuda Championship in Southampton, Bermuda, the second of three consecutive international events this portion of the PGA Tour schedule. Up now to nine total international events for the PGA Tour. Back on the eighth. Ali, let's get an update with uh, the options for Sebastian Munoz. Well, I can tell you that he has tried right-handed, left-handed swings. He's tried both ways. He switched that around. As you can see, he has a horrible light. This is between a rock and a hard place, quite literally. The only thing he can do is either obviously take an unplayable pitch out from there, but I think he's going to try his luck from the look of it, try and advance it down and then just hope that you have a gap. It sounded like he was dealing with some tree root issues. There are some massive tree roots, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys have eyes on it or not, but he's between two big ones, then the tree trunk. If he was going to chip out straight left, that would be in the way. Yeah, but they're we're... substantial. They're, they're, they're well and truly higher than the golf ball. We have a, a, a nice look at what he's dealing with embedded in the trees here at Maraschino Country Club as he's evaluating his different options. It looks like he's thinking maybe take an unplayable two club lengths, get to the other side of the tree, and maybe he'll have a shot. Has he got a shot then, Ali? He, I mean, does he have a shot, kind of, if he wants to? fade the next one 60 yards round. Oh, it's, okay. it's it's a pretty steep turnaround that he'd have to hit with his third, even if he does drop it out left like it looks he's going to. But yeah, just said he's taken an unplayable and 
taking the drop. Yeah, Mark out is uh, two driver lengths. It's, it's genuinely, he had zero options in there. Well, it looks like you're right. I mean, it looks like he's yeah. still has to chip it out sideways from there. That's terribly unlucky to get a line that bad. I had a look around at the other trees. There's no tree roots around the rest of them. He's just landed right in the, the ant's nest of them. Really, all depends on the line with this drop as well. Seems to have nestled down a little bit forwardly above this peak, which is going to just a bit more straightforward pitch out. Yeah, he took his two drops, rolled away, and then placed it. So now he's about to play his third shot. And unfortunately, a double bogey here pretty much ends his chances, you would think. But still would be jockeying for position inside that top ten, so uh, a lot to play for, for Munoz, yeah. even though his hopes of winning the Zozo Championship likely sunk here on number eight. Such a shame, really, isn't it? That just one bad swing might bring it all on stuff for Munoz today. Now it's Cameron Tringali stepping into his second. 130 yards for Cameron. Pin barely looks like it's on the brain. Tucked over. Just four off that left edge. This is heading right of it, the smart play. It's way back towards the front middle of the green. Birdie putt ahead for Tringali. On the ninth green, Colin Morikawa. A lengthy one for Birdie. Just look at the highest ranked player in the field. Even par for his round. Needed a low one. Doesn't look like it's going to be. Back on the eighth fairway, Hideki Matsuyama, the leader. for Matsuyama to apply some pressure right here. Feeling a little bit of a gust, though. There hasn't been much wind at all, I have to say. If anything, half the club since I've been out here in the early stages of their round. Slightly helping off his left, if anything, at the moment. on the way for Hideki. It's basically online with the approach from Tringali. <laughs> By Hideki's high standards, displeased, but the Eagle on six, and that gives him a two-shot cushion here at the Zozo Championship. Back with our final group on the eighth green, Cameron Tringali, and a tie for second with Brendan Steele, has this birdie putt on the eighth to see if he can shave a shot off this deficit. And this putt has a little bit of everything. It's up, it's over. It's, uh, well, a little left to right, and then a little right to left at the end. What more could you want from this range? Find me out. Crowd still. We'll drift down to the left at the end, though. As you can see when he gets in here, his heels are higher than the ball. Just off that back edge, the shoulder of the bunker. Which brings the first section of break into it. out to the eighth and you got to believe Hideki Matsuyama is watching that birdie roll from Cameron Tringali. And his is just a little bit more mild in nature. You won't have 
quite as big a swing at the start, just slightly further down the slope. But what he will have seen is that the first, I'd say, six feet will actually be slightly back up into the hill. Tringali certainly aren't erring on the uh, on the side of caution with his, because you can see that this is a part of the last 15 feet that could really race away. Matsuyama up by two for birdie. Zooming past like you were cautioning against Allie. That's the nature of these greens. When they go up and then they slide down. Once they pass the hole, there's a lot of hole locations like that. Steel on the ninth, hacking it out of the rough. That is a tremendous shot from there. Back to the eighth. Sebastian Munoz now up on the green at four. Is this for bogey? The biggest bogey of the day, you'd think, if he can knock this in. For Munoz, at least, at least it is one gradual slope all the way down. He doesn't have to deal with that initial kind of six feet that the other two had to. Drop this in about five on the clock down. Few feet left for a double. Ping pong back to the ninth. Matt Wallace center of the fairway. Different proposition from Steele. From the middle of the fairway. It's a pin he can maybe attack. It's a long par four, but there's room. There you go. That's the shot. That's the side to leave it on. Wallace turning it on. End of this front nine. On the eighth. Deki Matsuyama's first real stress test in this final round. This remains for par. It's a little bit more stressful than the sum of its parts. You know, you'd think a little left to right, straight back up the hill, but there is almost two paces to this. Is it a little bit more of a rise in the first two feet than the rest of the part? It's not one gradual slope. It has to factor that in. Otherwise, we'd miss it low. Hideki's been putting well all week. This would be a big one for par. <laughs> Three putt bogey, the lead down to one. Didn't expect that after his tee shot, standing in the middle of the fairway with a Sand wedge in his hands. He walks off with a five. Dom, look at what Hideki Matsuyama has done in his career on the PGA Tour, either holding the 54-hole lead or a co-lead. Has converted two for five, but he's two for his last three. And I know worldwide he's had a reputation as a closer. Yeah, he has. In fact, in nine of his 13 wins, he's closed it out from a 54-hole lead. So he is used to this position. And, of course, he won the Masters. <laughs> with a 54-hole lead, so we know he can handle it. His recent memory, obviously, very positive. Uh, Absolutely. With that green jacket in his closet. Cameron Tringali to stay one back. <laughs> Another little momentum swing as we make our way to the ninth. Dom, take us through this par four. Long par four, George, dog legs from right to left. Similar tee shot to the 18th, which is actually on the, the other side there on the right. And you just take it over this bunker. That really doesn't come into play. Hug the trees as much as you possibly can. You don't want to go through the fairway into the rough. We saw that with Brendan Steele. It's quite thick there. And then, of course, you've got to, to get the, to the green from there. You've got to fly this bunker. But from the fairway, you're going to be coming in with a, a mid iron. And with the pin today on 21, 10 yards from the right, there's room for the players to fire at this pin. At the green, Brendan Steele. Now this birdie putt 
added significance because it's to grab a share of the lead. will stay at 10 under in a tie for second with Cameron Tringali, who is on the ninth tee. Nice little long dog leg left. His hole. Give you some numbers. If you go straight over the bunker, you're looking about 285 yards to run out on the other side of the fairway on that line. Bunker's not really in play at all. And then if you want to carry those left trees, you're looking at about 270 to be safe. It is doable. That's the line that Tringali's taking. Tremendous tee shot. He's not going away, Tringali. He's kind of doing golf, isn't he? He's doing exactly what he's been known for, steady. One of those lurkers, when he's in the final group, you know he's probably not going to make too many mistakes. And that has to give him confidence if he can kind of stay in Matsuyama's slipstream going into that back nine. And it's a very positive gallery compared to what you may see most weeks on the PGA Tour. If you're playing against someone who's the local fan favorite, might be a little more bipartisan, but the crowds here have been very positive, respectful, polite. Tringali said he's, he's enjoyed it the entire week. Here's Matsuyama's tee ball. A little off balance with that one. Really yes. get away with it. Oh. I'm not sure he has gotten away with it. Kind of a bad break, bounces off the tree and kicks further right, deeper into the tree line. On the 12th, this stretch on the back nine, 10, 11, 12, such tough holes. Luke Liz from Burry. He's done well to get it on that top shelf. He's much straighter putt, but uh, left it short. Back on the ninth, Matt Wallace. This putt for Bird to pull within three. Yeah, just about 10 minutes ago, he was six back. And then he birdies the eighth. And if he can make this, he's only going to be three back. What a difference 15 minutes can make. A little fist pump out of Wallace. He knows that's a pivotal putt. After an opening bogey, Birdie's in three of his last six. Wallace in solo fourth at eight under. On the 16th. The unmistakable, George. <laughs> familiar colors for Ricky Fowler. Birdie putt lips out. Well, that was a tough loss in the gridiron for his Oklahoma State Cowboys yesterday to Iowa State. A razor thin lead for Hideki Matsuyama in Chiba, Japan. So back on the ninth, we saw Hideki Matsuyama's tee shot go into the trees alley. What, what's the line that he's able to take with a second? Are you watching the practice wings too? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that it just goes to show that he has to be slightly extreme with this. Let's list the things that make this hard. It's out of the rough. It's sitting down slightly, which means he's going to have very little spin control on this at all, even for a player of his strength. The ball's above his feet. Not to mention this green is pretty tricky to hold at the best of times from the rough be trying to really work this across the ball with an open club face. Get a little bit more height and shoot it up there left to right as well. A little over 200 yards left. Matsuyama coming off the break. Here he goes! Brilliant. Brilliant shot. I'm guessing that just trickled on through a little bit, but even then, guys, that, I mean, you could give him a small bucket of balls and he might not hit one better than that. Yeah, he's probably going to be putting, I think, Ali. Mm -hmm. About as good as he could do. Sebastian Munoz, now from the fairway. 197. From over here for Munoz, gorgeous lie, both he and Tringali in perfect spots. 
let themselves nice angles as well. Such a stunning setting, this nine pole. It's flying just a little right of it, needs to travel. We'll just trickle off the green into the fringe, but should be a putter for his look at birdie. Brendan Steele, 10th tee. Trouble up the left-hand side on this par four. Yeah, completely different hole from yesterday. Guess they were running to a 20 mile an hour wind. Yeah, they're still going with the driver. And you see Eagle Park birdie. His first hole of the Zozo Championship. Pulled out for Eagle on Thursday. Made a two on this hole, but in the fairway bunker now. It'll be a bit more of a challenge today. Cameron Tringali center of the fairway. From 196 for Cameron. Green slopes to the right, round about the tongue in the bunker. This is heading right on that line. Wow. Birdie putt awaits Tringali as he's walking up to this ninth green. Just one back, and it is trickling closer and closer and closer to the pin. Getting better and better, Dom. Yeah, it shows you how fast Hideki Matsuyama's putt's going to be from that same line. Little sneak preview, and we will see that when we return after the short break. Final round, Zozo Championship. Tommy Fleetwood attempting to make up some ground. This for Birdie on the 10th. Well, moves him to seven under. There you see him, fifth place, only four back. And we know there's lots of birdies still to come, or opportunities on the back nine. Henrik Norlander shooting a 29 earlier in the day. And he started on the 10th. That's a Back of a start to your final round, seven under the first nine. Back on the ninth with our final group, Hideki Matsuyama's. Taking a look at his third shot. And Elliot looks like Hideki's going to step in and play first. He is, and this is not easy at all. He had putter out, but if he was going to hit putter, it really would have burrowed through that first foot of rough. Might have come off a little bit soft blade it from here as well. It's got to go through a little bowl before it gets to the pin. That was nicely struck. Absolutely sublime. He fancied that actually halfway there. He, started, he thought about maybe it's going to break enough to go in. Let's take a, another look at it. Yeah, I, I think this is a great choice of club. He wants that little bit of spin on the second bounce just to take a little bit of speed off it. There he thought, hmm, hmm. Didn't quite break enough, but like Ali said, wonderful little chip. Now it's Sebastian Munoz. Cameron Tringali. An opportunity here, Ali. Oh, he just, it was all about that second shot, you know, just understanding that there was that little, a little backbone, a little ridge that was going to shift the ball down using that smart play, great execution, and rewarded with a very makeable birdie putt as a result. Slightly downhill, if anything, off his right. We very well could have two tight at the top after this. Golly for birdie and a share of the lead. What a start for Cameron Tringali. Two under on his opening nine, looking for his first win on the PGA Tour. Playing in Japan, trying to chase down Hideki Matsuyama and looking cool, calm, and collected. Well, he'll certainly remember it if he does pull it off today, that's for sure. He's been rock solid all season from this range and a little bit longer. Matsuyama in with par. We will head to the back nine. Just nine holes to go. Matsuyama and Tringali a share of the lead. Third shot for Brendan Steele, who's currently in third, one back. Yeah, came out in the bunker. A lot of ground to cover, and it's slow up this hill. Yeah. However, brilliant shot. So 
steal. Hoping to stay just one back. And you know, Tokyo would be buzzing if Hideki Matsuyama could wind up winning the Zozo Championship. Back here at the Zozo Championship in Chiba, Japan, 30 miles outside downtown Tokyo. Matt Wallace, birdie roll on the 10th. He's got a slick one coming back there, George. It's all uphill from where he parted from. It's all downhill <laughs> with his four footer left. Now, Tringali looks like a three wood. I don't think he needs any more today. It is starting to warm up. The ball is certainly flying at the moment. Down the hill plays uh, 12 in elevation change out of the landing zone. Sharp dog leg left. Bunkers down there around about 290 off the tee. He'll be aiming probably just for the right half of the right one with this club. Shot thudding in the fairway up ahead on the green. Matt Wallace did make that par putt. So he's at eight under three back of the co leaders, Tringali and Matsuyama. Well, it's been a while since Hideki was tied for the lead. <laughs> he's uh, been up where the air is fair on the top of the leaderboard for a while. Company now, and for the final nine, this is going to test your medal, as we know. He's put, he's taken the driver out, Ali, and looks like the wind is into him off the right. You can't really feel that much of it here, but there are some pretty handy flags just right up on the grandstand. You can see Shota having a pretty decent look at them as well. This one of five holes where water comes into play at Narashino Country Club for the Zozo Championship. If you aim at the left edge of all of those bunkers, it's around about at the 270, 280 carry. Well and truly within his range. Just trying to draw this round. Could be magnificent. It is. Middle of the fairway for Matsuyama. Matsuyama and Tringali, both in the 10th fairway. Their approach shots when we return. Well, we are going to have quite the show this final nine holes. And a special thank you to uh, everyone with the Zozo Championship, as well as PGA Tour Executive Director Travis Steiner for returning this event to Chiba, Japan. I know it took a lot of work behind the scenes to get everyone ready. It's been a great watch so far. It certainly has. So Cameron Tringali will be the first to play from the 10th fairway. Love it. That was perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm just making sure this mud on this back side is going to factor. There was just a little bit of mud, but it looks like it's straight on the other side. Yeah. Perfect. Dan the red jacket. Oh, I love it. That's a good rhythm. Well, they're loving this club from 134 yards. Plays up five with the elevation change. As you can hear, there is just a, a little strip. It's almost kind of a already dried mud on the other side of the ball, but not too much that I think it's really going to pay too much effect on the trajectory. That's a very good shot. Took a lot of spin off the ball, which he needed to do. Cameron Tringali would love to snap this streak. That's the most starts without a win among active players on the PGA Tour. Ricky Barnes, 323 at the top of the list. Cameron Tringali in third with 313 to his credit. It's a push and pull, Dom. When you see your name on that list, it means you've been out on the PGA Tour for a while, but still trying to uh, cross the finish line for yeah. the first time and hoist a trophy. You've got to be a good player to get on the PGA Tour. To stay on the PGA Tour, you've got to be a great player. A very, uh, you know, and to win, obviously, it's, we just know how hard it is. Sebastian Munoz. Past the pin. He'll stay up there. That is going to be lightning quick for Munoz. Sure is. His ball was plugged when he got down there. It was a, in a really saturated part of the fairway. Not the case for Matsuyama. 
He's slightly on the upslope. He's going to hit, I think, a little bit more of a flighted wedge here from 90 yards up to that back pin. He goes after it. Could land pin high and zip back quite substantially. We're waiting for Matsuyama to dial up his iron game. Well, he's not quite there, is he, today? Not as sharp as we've seen him in the past. From the 10th to the 11th, and it's Brendan Steele on the tee, one back. We've got a little underneath it there. That could be tree trouble. Oh. You saw it rattling around. This would be a combination of lie dependent and what type of angle he has up to this 11th green where we find Colin Morikawa even on his round. This to get into red numbers for the day. Oh. Needs a top 45 finish this week. He'll move to number two in the world, his highest ever position. I don't think he's going to fall out of the top 45, so pretty much a guarantee for the current world number three. Unless he goes full 10 cup <laughs> down the scratch. He's currently in a tie for 12th at four under. So let's uh, flash back to the inaugural Zozo Championship in 2019. Dom, you were covering this event, you were here all week, and just what a masterful performance from Tiger Woods. It was, it was uh, tremendous. You know, he started off terribly, bogeyed the first three holes, and we thought we're in for a long week with Tiger. But he turned it around, and he was imperious the rest of the week, matching Sam Snead's record, and what a place to do it in a country that is fanatical about this game. Uh, Tiger Woods hoisting a trophy on the PGA Tour for the 82nd time in his career, tied with Sam Snead, 1A and 1B, Jack Nicholas with 73, and you see some of the other notable names on this short list for most PGA Tour wins all time. So our thoughts with Tiger as his rehab from that horrific car accident earlier this year continues. Final group on the 10th green. Ellie, who will be first to play out of this threesome? It's going to be Matsuyama, first to go. The encroaching shadow is just making the read on this slightly more complex. You have to trust that it's going to move off the left side. That's where he's aiming as well. Only a hair back on the hill. It's a little counterintuitive. The decky for Burn. Matsuyama's been playing at a high level for a long time on the PGA Tour, and this will tell you just that. Most weeks ranked inside the top 30, top 30 dating back to the 2013-14 season. Dustin Johnson, 245. Then you see Justin Thomas just seven weeks back of him. Hideki has had 230 weeks inside the top 30. Current FedEx Cup standings, the four winners in first through fourth, Nick Watney, rounding out the current top 10. Cameron Tringali for birdie in the lead on 10. Another perfect lead as well, slightly uphill off the right. The right hand is green. Oh. Tringali getting it done. Muted applause, you'd have to say, because they the crowd realize their hero has now lost the lead. Tringali's been soaking it up so far. Brendan Steele on the 11th. This is third now after some tree trouble off the tee. That's going to move a little bit away from the hole. So looking like a bogey five, you'd have to say. Back on the 10th, Sebastian Munoz now with the rally cap on. Almost a carbon copy, but from the other side. The part. This is downhill off his left. There's about a foot or two that's slightly uphill, just as you know, Dom, like a, a lot of these fringes just seem to taper off the backs of the greens towards them around this layout. Certainly 
certainly a common theme. Something that Kenya Fujita, the man that designed this back in 1965, seems to be a fan of. A lot of his courses have it. Lips in for Munoz. You know, even on the day, six under for the Zozo Championship. Well, in Matsuyama's seven trips around Narashino Country Club in the Zozo Championship, his average is 66.2. His worst two rounds, a pair of 68s on Friday and Saturday under tough scoring conditions. One under today. I think he's going to make two or three more birdies, that's for sure. You wonder when, when his kick will occur yeah. with this back nine. Par 3, 16th, and Keegan Bradley riding a nice little run. Birdies on 13, 14, and 15. 16, wonderful par 3. And that is a great leave. He would love to be another four or five feet closer. He's got one of the rounds of the day going six under. Let's take a look now at the par 4, 11th. Long par four, the start of two very long par fours, 486 yards, dog leg from right to left. You want to hit a little soft draw into the landing area. Obviously, we saw Brendan Steele just hit it into the trees and have to chip out. Then you're leaving yourself a mid to short iron into this screen where the pin today is on 13 and only four from the right edge. So you certainly want to avoid that bunker to the right of that pin. Tringali up first with driver. Remember the line he took here yesterday with that howling left to right wind. Paid off nicely that time round. Won't have to be so extreme. Can just throw this down the left rough line. There's a serenity about Cameron Tringali, which you see a lot in guys who go on to win tournaments. Now they, now they're keeping great sort of evenness about their emotions. This is third up by the green on a lot. And that is off to the races. Wow, played that fucking well. For me, Billy. Microphones picking up some audio. Apologize if you heard that. Sebastian Munoz on the team. First set of the two bunkers are uh, relatively ornamental. There is one further down, about 300 down on the right. This is headed towards it, but it'll be short of it. No trouble at all. What a contrast today is to yesterday. The gusts, the unpredictability of uh, round three versus today. These are beautiful conditions. This is a day that a lot of the people here, if Matsuyama goes on to win, will remember. It's a story that'll be told in, in a lot of bars in Tokyo tonight. Ali, the buzz going out of the crowd a little bit the last two, three holes? A little bit, but they're still racing for positions, but they're just waiting for those moments to cheer, and I think then they'll set fire. Position for him. This final round at the Zozo Championship. Cameron Tringali, a one shot lead. Can this be the week he finally breaks through on the PGA Tour? More to come. On the 11th, Brendan Steele, hoping to scratch out a par. That's, that's unreal. Made a bogey. Keeps him afloat. Two back at Tringali. It certainly does. That is huge. Can Keegan Bradley play a little connect for you? Feeling his fourth birdie in a round? Well, down? this is the part of the green to be putting from. Fairly straight uphill. Oh, Can't he had leave it. it short, Keegan. Oh, he's thinking the same thing. Keegan all the way up to a tie for fifth right now at six under. Sebastian Munoz rehearsing those practice swings. Ali, he'll be the first to play. 
He will be from 214 yards. Uh, the only hindrance here really is the length. He's playing slightly back into the breeze, if anything. Call it 220 as it stands. Plenty of green left at this pin. That's where he'll be starting this ball. Shot from Munoz. That's a pretty straight face club, too. That was a beautiful shot. I'd be surprised if that wasn't a forearm from there. Now it's the leader's After turn. After giving uh, Munoz a little nod of approval as well, he does seem to be enjoying this. He looks cool, calm, collected. Tringali. Slightly uphill line, which could balloon on him a, a little bit from 186. Front left portion of the green. Looking for something to spark Matsuyama. It's not far away from where the pin was on day one. It was about four yards short of where it is now the only place you really don't want to be is in that right bunker or past the pin on that side pretty treacherous from over there he's still got to keep patient i know he wants to maybe want to fire at the pin and stick one in there close but there's some danger to this shot mm. 175 left in flat line Matsuyama also on the front left. One back at Cameron Tringali, Shibuya Crossing. One of the more recognizable sites, not just in Tokyo, but around the world. The busiest intersection. So we're watching the final round of the Zozo Championship. Crunch time here at the Zozo Championship. Back nine, Cameron Tringali has surged to the top of the leaderboard at 12 under. He's three under on his round and has this putt for birdie on the 11th alley. He and Matsuyama have, have quite similar putts. And I think if I was Hideki, I'd look away for this because it, it could really fool you. It is uphill for the first section. It's left to right all the way, but then it will slither on down to the hole. It could break quite substantially in the last eight feet. Need to marry the speed and line perfectly here. Dropping that front left edge. That's beautifully judged. One of those putts, you hit it a little bit too hard. It will get away from you. On the 12th, Tommy Fleetwood for birdie. Similar place Luke List was putting from. Good to get into that back portion of the green. Go, go, go. After a bogey on 11, Fleetwood. Birdie on the 12. No pars through the first three holes in the back nine. A couple of birdies and a bogey. Tommy's at seven under. Damn. His beloved Everton Football Club, though, got hammered last night, 5-2 by Watford. I'm sure he was watching last night. He's not a happy man after that result. Matsuyama up next now on the 11th. And he did watch. And he would have got a pretty good clue that it is swift, especially in that second section of the park. The first eight feet of this is quite steeply uphill. Hideki of break from left to right. Matsuyama for birdie. Oh, Matsuyama! What a putt! There's the spark Matsuyama and the gallery was looking for. Unbelievable. That's a 1-2% make rate on that sort of a putt. Literally one or two in a hundred. And he does it on the back nine on a Sunday when he's one back from the lead. That's a special moment. What a response after falling out of the lead for the first time. 
since this since the second round of the Zozo Championship. Yeah. 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 drops that. Did that just happen, guys? <laughs> How cool. This would be pretty cool as well for Sebastian Munoz. Great look at Bernie here. Just blow the hole. Back to back for Munoz, showing some heart. You're a lucky lady, Ali, being out there with the big crowds. <laughs> Beautiful weather. I mean, you can't ask for more. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. It's genuinely, this is probably a, a day I, I think I'll remember for the rest of my career. Hopefully it's not a short one. Sunday, Matsuyama in contention in a year that has been brilliant for him and for Japanese golf with the Olympics here as well. Matsuyama and Tringali at 12 under, going to the 12th. Up in the fairway, Brennan Steele second. Beautiful tee shot made a ridiculous par on the last hole. And that is the same putt that Tommy Fleetwood had just moments ago. One can give it a go. On the 18th, Ricky Fowler to close out his week with the birdie. in the broadcast booth for the first round on a similar scores this week. Opened with a 70 and then three straight 71s. Earlier on the 18th, and this was the best nine we've seen on this back nine all week. Norlander, third, pulls it for Eagle. He started his day on the 10th, Dom, so he went out at seven under 29. And Norlander. After uh, making the turn, is now uh, one over on the front nine. So he has one hole to go. He's six under for the day. Yeah, that's a nice move up the leaderboard on a Sunday. That's what you like. Head into the next week. It's good momentum. This man has battled back beautifully after the double bogey on eight. And he's on 10 and 11. Didn't see too many of those yesterday. What a difference a day can make. This is the best day by far and away we've had of the four. Really want to hug that right tree line. Maybe well draw it off it can be ten. Wind a little down off the right hand side of, as it is. Probably haven't seen much back here. That's true. Five thousand spectators allowed on the grounds per day. The overwhelming majority camped out with this final group to watch Hideki Matsuyama. And his last two drives on 10 and 11, absolutely perfect. Should have a little bit of confidence with this club. big on this hole because that's a long second shot to a pretty small target. Fairway for Matsuyama. He didn't stay and watch that either. He turned his back on it, threw his hand up a little bit. I'm sure Shota had eyes on it, however. Might have reassured him. Bunkers down the left, purely all ornamental. Plenty of fairway passing. It's only 260 to carry those. Tee shots, three balls in the fairway on the 12th. Cameron Tringali, Hideki Matsuyama. Two clear of the rest of the field at the Zozo Championship. They're both at 12 under par, and Matsuyama given the gallery reason to erupt on the 11th. This birdie putt moved him back into a share of the lead. 
It's Matsuyama is looking to win the Zozo Championship. Look at the par 3 13th, Colin Morikawa is on the tee box. Shortest hole on the golf course, 136 yards. But uh, this is a dangerous pin. You may want to attack it because you've got such a short club in your hands, but you don't want to miss it. Right. Right over the top of it, Morikawa. Slide back one to the 12th. Brendan Steele, similar birdie putt to what we saw from Tommy Fleetwood, and this would pull him within one. Made a big putt on the last. He's got the pace. <laughs> Steele saying, uh, going into today, I'm completely worn out, but I've been sleeping well here, so hopefully I can get a good night's sleep. Come out with some energy tomorrow. Certainly has come out with some energy for this final round. <laughs> I think he got a good eight hours last <laughs> night by the looks of it. Because <laughs> he's playing beautifully. Four under par, not a bogey on the card. Uh, Ellie, isn't that how it works once you start making some birdies? That gives you some energy? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But all of a sudden, the sun starts to feel a little brighter, <laughs> a little pep in the step. So players to win the Masters, then win in their home country the same year. This for international players, Dom, dating back to 2011. Charles Schwartzel did it, won the Joe Berg Open. Adam Scott won the Australian PGA Championship after he won the Masters. Sergio Garcia won the Andalusia Valderrama Masters. So three of the four. Danny Willett was the other international winner. He wasn't able to win back in England. So Hideki could join that list in what's already been a special 2021, but he's had some near misses in Japan. Lost the playoff at the Olympics, was a runner-up at the Zozo Championship two years ago. That playoff was to try and secure a bronze medal. Yeah, but, uh, you know, wouldn't surprise me. It's, it's a graphic that it's interesting, but it's not surprising that players do go on to win after winning the Masters. I mean, imagine the confidence level they're bringing into other tournaments, especially playing at home in front of home crowds. Uh, well, he's got work to do, though. Cameron Tringali is looking very steady, looking very sharp, and uh, he's not going to shake him off too easily. While this group waits, we are going to move up ahead to the green. Wallace had made a bogey previous hole on the 11th. This to save par on 12.13th, and then you have two par fives, the last five holes. Yeah. Colin Morikawa on the 13th. Oh. Well he had a first in his career yesterday. He hit a shank. The horror. <laughs> Horrible. I shouldn't even have said the word, but. Morikawa at 500 now. Cameron Tringali, first to play. From 206 yards out, wind helping off his right shoulder. Shadows cast across this green by the trees behind us make this a little bit more difficult depth-wise. Oh. Tringali hitting all the shots. Finds the fairway and onto the green here on the 12th. This is not an easy pin position, I have to say. Be surprised if it wasn't ranking in a couple of the toughest, even downwind. 200 yards on a hanging line for Sebastian Munoz. The tier where the pin is today, it's really only about seven deep. Not the big target. Sebastian Munoz making a run. How about those two iron shots in the last two holes? 
And you're right, Ali, you're pretty astute. It is the hardest hole on the golf course today. Mm. Yeah, that's all. it's all the pin. And what a nice little bounce it was for Hideki Matsuyama, just making this so much simpler. He has an amazing angle from over on that left-hand side. He's got 196 left in. One of those shots done where you're kind of hoping that a full club will be just at the top of the tier, and if you chase after it, you can get it all the way back there. But it's a you know, dangerous shot to try and get it up there. You don't want to you know, just flush it too much, go over the back of the green. I mean, where Tringali hit it to, I'm sure most of the field is ending up putting from there. And that's not really a bad spot. A four on this hole is a good score. Matsuyama, the co-leader. It's predictable, but it's okay. We'll get a read from Tringali. Cameron Tringali, what a spot to be in with seven holes to go. Tied for the lead with Hideki Matsuyama here in Chiba, Japan. Brendan Steele on the tee, par 313th, measuring 136 yards today. Dom, this is the third easiest hole on the course. Yeah, because it's so short, but it can also be a little dangerous. It's going to spin off towards the front edge of the green. Seesaw back over to the 12th. Cameron Tringali and Hideki Matsuyama, the co-leaders alley with uh, similar birdie putts to this hole. Terrible birdie putts. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, anything. Your words, my thoughts. <laughs> anything within two feet would actually be decent here. They're not complaining with that. That's how tricky this is. It will be very steeply uphill. It'll continue to rise just ever so slightly after it reaches the crest, but it is hard off the right from the sun to the shadows. Gally to push it to 13 under. Not enough pace. I think Hideki would have learned a lot from that putt. But you can also overcompensate. Hit it a little too hard, and he runs four or five feet past. That's something that I, I thought might have happened on the last stop. You know when you just look at them and you're like, oh, I think I could to be a bit of the bit befuddled mm. by what went before me but this one i think definitely would have helped to probably go a little higher because you know that it's just going to fall down to the left in that last two feet Yama's made a couple big putts in this final round. The Eagle on the sixth. Birdie last hole. This for Birdie on the ball. Go! 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 This season winners so far on the PGA Tour. Max Homa got it started in Napa, Fortnite Championship, Sam Burns at Sanderson, Sanjay Im. The first of two straight weeks in Las Vegas for the PGA Tour, winning the Shriners. And there was Roy McIlroy last week, CJ Cup at Summit. What do all these winners have in common, Tom? They've all won before on the PGA Tour prior to the season. Oh, yes. So if Hideki Matsuyama were to win this week, then the trend continue and it's so big to win in the four these days almost guarantees you a spot in the tour championship now Munoz for back to back to back birdies 
Can't play 10, 11, 12 any better than that. It's been one of the hardest stretches all week at Narashino Country Club. And Sebastian Munoz, after making a better on the eight, has responded. Hideki Matsuyama in with par. Stand, please. Par five, 14th, James Hahn, back of the green for birdie. Hahn walking it in to five under par. That's in the top 10. Back on the 12th. This will test your nerves a little. It's got to get the, keep the pace up. A little under pace, this has got to break left. Well a nice roll from Trindale. Cameron at 12 under. Edeki also at 12 under. The co-leaders at the Zozo Championship. Brendan Steele having some issues on the 13th. Poor first putt from the front edge of the green. Can't afford to miss this at this stage of the tournament. <laughs> 136 yard par three, no more than a three quarter wedge. Walks off with a four. His first bogey of the final round, three back of the co leaders in solo third, one up on Sebastian Munoz, who's in fourth. Well, Munoz is not thinking he's out of it. If he can keep this run going, four shots behind with six holes to play. Take a fantastic finish, but he's off to a flyer on this back nine. It's be an important week for him early in this season. He had only made one out of four cuts. Didn't have a, a top ten at this point. Now he's in fourth for Zozo Championship. <laughs> first to play any breeze whatsoever Ali back on this 13th tee if anything it's helping slightly off the left at the moment they can feel it it is one of those parts of the golf course even as well sheltered as it is it does funnel through the trees quite nicely great pin yeah it is <laughs> been two in a row really Using the left side of the tee just to open it up a little bit more. Six on, six off the right, 136 is the number. Tom, if you're Munoz here, three straight birdies, you're four back in the co-leaders. How aggressive are you with this tee shot? Well, if he wants to go win the tournament, he wants to make a two here. I mean, it's an opportunity, but just don't push it right just a tiny bit because then four is a likely score. Lots of danger lurking short right of this pin. Not the place to be. Here we go, staring it down. Just in a zone now with his irons. Long irons and short irons. What's Hideki thinking? He's enjoying that trailing wind, Dom, I can tell you that much, because if this was into it, this would be probably one of the more difficult wedges you'll face this year. Pin high, maybe even a little past it down that left-hand side would be ideal.
Becky onto the putting surface. It's an interesting, interesting hole, this, isn't it? Boys, the, the way that it, it almost feels like this is where you take your, your practice bag <laughs> at about 5 p.m. It's just this little section of the course that's out on its own. Those days are over, Ali, taking <laughs> practice bag out to the course at 5 p.m. <laughs> Foreign concept. For yes, it certainly is. <laughs> you don't need to practice, do you, Don? Oh, no, there's other parts of the golf club I'm going to at 5 p.m. <laughs> It is like a sitting duck, though. Tringali's been pretty decent with his wedges, but he's early out of this one. It's fine. Three pretty good ones. Three tee shots, three greens hit on the 13th. Matsuyama Tringali, six holes to go in Chiba, Japan. Back on the 13th, final round of the Zozo Championship. Cameron Tringali looking for his first win on the PGA Tour. He has the share of the lead with Hideki Matsuyama, 12 under, and Ali, both these guys have birdie putts coming up. They do, all three do, but the two going head to head right now, for sure, down the hill, little to the right. Side tap in range for Tringali's par putt. He's just made a little bit more work of it on the greens the last two holes. The full line, the straight putt is between Tringali and, and Matsuyama's ball. Nunoz will have got a pretty decent read off that. Certainly swift. run he's made <laughs> I mean it might be too too little too late it looks to be that way but three on the bounce in that stretch of holes is really impressive stats wise coming into this final round he was the most solid of the three on the greens inside that top five well, pace is not an issue on this putt just get the right line mm. it'll get there oh it's just oh, that was a good putt so close to four in a row for Munoz mm. opportunity for Matsuyama to regain the outright lead and a far more appealing putt as well, I have to say. We'll be downhill, but his, if anything, should move to the left if you can see it. I looked at this putt from all angles and it befuddled me. It's one of those lines you're really going to have to trust and commit to. Try and roll it over that front edge. following Matsuyama all week there at Narashino Country Club. And Hideki, early the 13th to go up one. <laughs> Matsuyama's second birdie in the last three holes has gone from the chaser to the leader. Now at 13 under par. Saying pace is not a problem, but this one only just dripped in the front edge. But it's in. Munoz did tap in for par, and Matsuyama answering back in a big way on this back nine. Tringali to stay within one. Over 
over to the par 5, 14th. Leonard Tringali, bogey free, final round. He's three under. Hideki Matsuyama also three under. Both these guys playing high level golf. Dom tickets through the first par 5 in the back nine. Yeah, it's the longest hole on the golf course. 608 yards straight away, par 5, with a very undulating fairway. It's pretty wide off the tee. The fairway is narrow, but there's plenty of room right, a little bit of room left. And uh, most players will try and land it right around here. If you can catch the down slope, get another 30, 40 yards, you may have a chance to hit the green in two. If not, you lay up to this part just left of the bunker here, leave yourself about 100, 110 yards. But if you're going to play in, come in with a, a fuller shot, you've got to land it. Today, the pin is on the back. You've got to land it on that top shelf. Otherwise, if you're short, you're going to spin back to the front edge of the green. Matsuyama retaking the honors in this final group. Playing a little longer than its already lengthy yardage. Today, this par five back into the breeze. Not the widest of targets down there in the landing zone, but you can get that little bonus bounce around about the 270 mark. Squeeze a little bit more out of it. Not sure that will be as in play today as some of the other days where the breeze wasn't into your face. It's not much of it. Probably only about, I'd say, half a club at the moment. <laughs> Big applause from the gallery as Matsuyama splits another fairway. Fourteenth, Brendan Steele's third. See that ridge? It's about eight paces short of the pin. You got to clear that. Ooh. He's done it. Beautiful shot. Back on the fourteenth tee, it's Sebastian Munoz. Just trying to keep the pedal down at the moment. Certainly a hole to do it. You think about thirteen and fourteen after the brutes of the past threes. That's a, a test that, of the, of the last three, I should say. A test here, passed with flying colours. You want to take advantage of these two. Munoz out to the right. And as soon as you miss this fairway, you, you really do forfeit any kind of control with the second. Munoz should be able to kind of chase it down up and over the, the hill if he chooses to do so. But he'll be a long way back. Matsuyama in a completely different camp. This is coming out to the left. Clap. All of the crowds scatter. Fine, just down that left-hand side, no trouble there. Skirts the cart path will be a three-shot hole for Cameron Tringali. He now finds himself one back of Hideki Matsuyama. Matsuyama is starting to pour in big putt after big putt on this back nine. Thrilling the gallery with this birdie roll on the 13th. He's up one, five holes still to play. The green here on the par five 14th. Brendan Steele just past the pin for birdie. Terrific third shot. Give himself a good chance. Hold up. Good bounce back. Birdie. Costly bogey on the 13th on that short par three. But he's three back. Still four holes left to play. Yeah, may have to birdie out to have a chance as he is trailing Matsuyama by three. Sebastian Munoz missed the, the fairway off the tee here on 14. So it looks like he'll be playing his second shot just to get in position for his third.
Ke pangka. Kuncing ke pangka. See how much rollout you get on the downhill slope of this fairway on the 14th. I'd like to roll a little bit more back onto the flat, but uh, it looks like you might have a downhill light. Once you get about 60 out from the green, that's when it really starts to take off. Grass is running away from Tringali, 329 out. He's landed at well and truly over that. Nicely done with the, the rough running with the direction of the shot there. Just made things slightly more straightforward. Can Hideki get there in two? He's got 286 left. Uh, I, I think the question he's asking himself now is what line am I going to take? As you can see, you can't see much of it from where his ball is. He has to go back and get a better vantage point. When you look down at Tringali's ball, though, he's only 30 yards short of the front edge of the green. So no doubt in uh, Hideki Matsuyama's mind that he can probably get it up pretty close. Even though anything that lands into that slope will just stop dead. It is very steep in the 20 yards leading up to this green. Probably the easiest pin I think we've had, even though it is all the way at the back of the green, 28 paces on. There's not a lot behind it, but as much as you might think it is, long isn't the worst place to be. I think I'd rather be, you know, a pace off the back edge than be there all the way down in that little hollow on the left. But he's just trying to get this up close. That's more what you're thinking with your third shot. Matsuyama, very methodical. As he gets ready to play his second to the par five. Wind's just died down a little bit as well, much to Matsuyama's delight. So we'll get it an extra 10 yards or so out of it. Off that downhill lie as well. It'll come out hot. one final round of the Zozo Championship. The Decky hammering that one. Just off the front edge. What a second shot for Matsuyama to the 14th made quite the charge this final round to just stay one back. Both these guys at three under for Cameron, trying to get that first victory on the PGA Tour. The Sebastian Munoz is third from the fairway short of this 14th alley. From 73 yards of quite a, a severely downhill lie. He wishes he was at the, the bottom of this slope. Although the one thing that it, it does help him with is just controlling that spin a little bit. Land this a, a, a couple short, let it bounce, and you know it'll stop after that. No wind to speak of, very sheltered in this part of the course right now. danger is if this just climbs the face and catches it a groove high comes up short that's not an easy next part to face let's see if Munoz can stay hot this back nine it's gonna work its way all the way towards the front of the green shot for Cameron Tringali. Ryan, you've won four times in the PGA Tour. Cameron's trying to win for the first. What do you think he's feeling right now, one back in the decade? Man, it's uh, 
Winning out here is so hard. There's no doubt about it. And um, he's been close numerous times out here on the PGA Tour. And uh, right now it's just a matter of just controlling his emotions. Um, he can't worry about what the heck he's doing. All he can do is keep hitting great shots. Um, that's a pretty solid shot there from where he's at. There's no doubt about it. That, that can is tough today on 14. But uh, winning that first one is, is the hardest. And um, like I said, he's been close numerous times. And uh, all he can do is just keep, you know, the old cliche, hit one shot at a time. And um, We've got some good party chances coming up, and uh, but obviously the way Hideki's playing, and he's going to be tough to beat. But um, yeah, it's always uh, it's hard to get that first one. Um, unbelievable feeling, that's for sure. So, uh, but uh, I have no doubt he'll get there for sure one day. If yeah. not today, yeah, could be today. Brandon Steele, 15th tee. Yeah. Oh. The three wood, just hit it off the left half of the fairway. It should just bounce back into the middle. There you go. Once you're on the fairway, although it's a tight pin against that front bunker, it's gettable. Back to the 14th. What, an, what a play by Matsuyama with his second to put himself in position to take advantage of this par five alley. Such a serious second shot set up by a beautiful drive. No surprise to see him take loft here. He's just trying to take all of that hefty slope out of play. Makes it so much more straightforward. Inside 10 feet is what remains for Birdie. Take a, another look at this Dom. Yeah, just a little heavy maybe, but uh, getting plenty of loft like that. He's just taking the slope out of the equation. That's a good lead though. He's putting a little bit uphill. Ali, how much of a challenge will it be for uh, Nunoz to two-putt from where he wound up on the front portion of the screen? Uh, a big one, <laughs> to, put it, to put it kindly. This is not the place to be. This is the X to that pin. If you had one in your book, it's not so much a, a usable section of the green for a pin. I think that might have been the easiest that we could have seen if they'd chosen to play it. And instead, they've been tucking them all over these little ridges and there's plenty of them at 14 green. You can see it's going to move a little right to left in the beginning through the bowl, but then it's going to get shoved quite dramatically to the right up the hill. But realistically, you're more likely to miss this by six feet short or six feet long than you are either side. Ryan, what are your keys to navigating these green complexes at Maraschino Country Club? I mean, the key is to get in the right spot of the green for sure. I mean, unfortunately, with his ball spinning back the way it is, but uh, he can be a little aggressive with his putt. Um, yeah, it's a, it was like that one, but now too the, aggressive. Now you can see how the green runs away from you once it gets too far past the hole, but it's so hard to control the speed. These greens have a, they're almost fast, but they don't look as fast as they are. And um, I mean, you can have such good speed on these greens and with the slopes and the subtleties and it just makes it even harder to get the balls close, especially when you have, you know, four or five feet of a uh, hill to go up on a uh, long putt like that on 14. Oh. So uh, it, it just showed how tough it can be. Kyle Moore, Kyle all over the stick on the 16. He's pretty good with his irons. <laughs> He's not too bad. <laughs> they have a future in this game, a two-time major champion. Brendan Steele, fairway 15th. Steely was saying how wiped he was after yesterday. How was the week for you as far as the change in time zones? Yeah, it's been tough all week. Uh, I think every morning I've woke up around 4.30. And, uh, but I've, uh, I've gone to sleep by 8, 9, 9 o'clock, it seems like, every night, too. So uh, I've gotten my sleep. But yeah, you're waking up at 4.30, 5 o'clock about awake every day. But uh, thank thankfully, we're playing early each day. And um, now as we get accustomed to this time zone, we go home. So uh, <laughs> it'll be a rough few days when I get back to Dallas and trying to stay awake for the kids. Well, it's just like a week for you and your Asian tour, a day, Tom. Dom going from country to country. Yeah. <laughs> but going back west is always a bit easier. Now, Munoz for par. Oh. Oh, 
ball spun back to the front of the green. And three putt was always in the equation. Munoz now in a tie for fourth with Matt Wallace at seven under. And a big bonus for Cameron Tringali getting a look at that putt first. Like Brian said, it is actually, I'd say, uphill for the first four feet as it does trickle away to that back edge. So it is a little bit up and over, just a slight slope. Birdie putt for a share of the lead. this birdie putt in and go up by two with four to play. He's pretty confident from the, from the front, isn't he, as a, as a general rule. He's won three of his last four with a 54-hole lead. He's been very impressive today. Made a couple of big putts, a couple of big moments. This could be another. Yama for back to back birdies. The lead remains at one. Hideki with a one shot cushion over Cameron Tringali. The leader, Matsuyama, on the 15th tee, and Ryan, he's going with the three wood here. Yeah, he's going to obviously hang back, probably try to keep it even or short of that bunker, but uh, to me, this is a pin that. I wouldn't be afraid to attack. Uh, you can hit driver, you can get it to around 115, 120 yards, and uh, have yourself a nice little wet into the screen. But uh, obviously, playing a little more conservative, try to keep the ball in the fairway, and uh, you just kind of, kind of pull it a little left. So, uh, with that pin, it's going to be tough to uh, definitely get it close, if not hit the green. I'm just looking at the stats, Ryan. This is the second toughest hole on the course today. Can you see why? I really can't because the, white, the fairway's not that that narrow. I don't think it's a. I mean, you get the big mound on the left. Um, it won't go over that mound with the driver today, so it kind of keeps the ball in play, I think. And uh, and you can still play from the bunker. It's a clear shot. Like I said, I think it's a pin. You want to get as close as you can to have yourself a lower a lower iron, possibly a wedge into this pin. I was able to have one right. 21 to the hole today and hit a little pitching wedge to, to six feet. So uh, I think it's a hole you try to attack more often than not. Trigali well off to the right. I think it hit the cart path a couple of times. So some trouble for both Tringali and Matsuyama off the 15th tee. Don't sleep on Brendan Steele. Hanging around at 10 under par. This for Birdie to pull within two. There's a lot of break on that short putt. Ellie Munoz with driver. Trying to get it down past that bunker on the left-hand side. Surprised to see Matsuyama pull three wood after that gorgeous drive he hit down here yesterday. <laughs> Started left. He's asking for it too. Hard to tell if that's on the fairway or in the rough. It's on the fairway. Up on the 16th green, Colin Morikawa. This for Burry. That's the one club that can be finicky for Morikawa at times. Matsuyama, a one-shot lead as downtown Tokyo, the backdrop for this week's Zozo Championship. Brendan Steele on the 16th tee. What's this tee shot like, Ryan? You know, we played earlier, it was into the wind, a little left to right, and the pins tucked back to the right just a little bit, but uh, I think it's one of the easier shots of the week in this particular green. This is one of your more severe greens, I think, for this part three, and... Uh, Tough spot to miss it for... Yeah, for yeah, Steele. he's gonna have a downhill chip there for sure, and um, if he gets going by the hole at all, he's gonna end up with a 15, 20 foot of the par for sure, so... Uh, 
Definitely the hole you want to hit in the middle of the green, give yourself just a, a putt. And a two putt par out on 16 is not a bad score today for sure. Sebastian Munoz alley in the fairway on 15. With 141 yards left. Nice lie on the fairway as we've come to expect here at Narashino. Only three paces usable short of this pin. It says it's 11 on, but really it doesn't play that at all. Plenty past it though with a wedge. Spin it back. How would you rate that? Yeah, he could have got that a little closer, I think, uh, for sure. Um, he's a, such a good iron player. Um, but again, it's tucked against that bunker. Anything missed hit short and right, you're, it's spinning off possibly. And then, of course, you get the bunker guarding the pin from on the front side. So, uh, you know, look, looking like a 15, 20 footer, which is not terrible on this hole. So, uh, this will be interesting to see what a decky does from this lie, whether the ball jumps or not. And, um, you know, he'll be happy with a, a good 25, 30 footer from the, from the back right portion of this green for sure. He's got 134 yards from there, and there are some overhanging branches, and both he and Shota have been looking up at them for a long time. And uh, in the end, I, I think they're going to be reasonably comfortable over the shot. He can access the back of the ball. It is a bit of a heavy lie, but it, it's almost kind of like there's been a footprint right behind the ball. So it is just a, a little lower behind it, which will help. For Matsuyama second. Wow. <laughs> That's how you can go from the right there for sure. And uh, you can see the last, he had to take it that just to get the ball to come down that soft. And uh, I mean, it helped having that uphill line for sure. So uh, now even more pressure on, on Cameron here to hit a, hit a great shot and try to match him. Well, a good break for Tringali. He's got a great lie. That's about as good as it can get over there from 122 out. Good look on pin as well. Yeah. Golly on the green. Ryan, we know you have a flight to catch. Thanks for hopping in with us in the broadcast booth and being so generous uh, with your time sharing your insight here. I appreciate it, George. It's uh, nice to see the hard work you guys do and, uh, and showcasing this wonderful game. And uh, I can't thank the folks of uh, near Sheena Country Club, the uh, Tokyo, the Zozo, what a great week, and uh, look forward to being back again next year. Matsuyama or Tringali, who's going to win this? I think your deck is going to be tough to catch, hitting shots like that, so it uh, should make it for an exciting finish, though. All right, more to come after the break. Back on the 15th, Cameron Tringali for birdie. A lot of movement from right to left on this putt. Par 3 16th, Brendan Steele's tee shot missed to the right, played his second to here. And he's trying to avoid dropping another shot. Well, if he wants to have any chance, he can't afford to drop another shot. This is it, last chance saloon here. This to keep him three behind. Probably needs to go birdie eagle after making this. Step one, make your par putt. It's looking more and more like there's just two men in this race, George. And they're in that final group on the 15th green. That certainly is. So Sebastian Munoz has already uh, missed his par putt. And now Hideki to try and go up by two, Ali. Not an easy putt to marry line and pace on as well I have to say just where the pin is it, it's almost just where things start to shift and, and, and flatten out a little bit and with a putt with this much slope on it Dom you know you, you have to be thinking of that relative to where you want to drop it in which side of the hole which will be over on the right four or five o'clock here that's 
it's not going to be moving with pace, that's for sure. Made a little bit more complex just with the scattered shadows between he and the hole. Matsuyama, birdie roll. To go up by two. He's some player. Look at that back nine. He really didn't have it on the front nine, but he has turned it on this back nine. Three birdies. Three birdies his last five holes. Started with that long make on the 11th. Great roll on the 13th. And then how about this birdie putt on the 15th? Yellow seems to be his favorite color on the Sunday. He won in a yellow shirt in the Masters. He's won in yellow before in other tournaments. Oh, Hideki Matsuyama, very accomplished player in his home country of Japan. These were his victories on the Japan Golf Tour. Had one as an amateur mm. 10 years ago, Teheo Masters. And then uh, as a pro, he's Knocked off wins at an impressive clip. And they're all the biggest tournaments in Japan. The uh, Casio World Open, Dunlop Phoenix, Taiheo Masters, Japan Open. Those are the majors in Japan. So, you know, he's really established himself. And he's only played 23 times as a professional in Japan. This is his 24th, and he's going to look like he's going to pick up his eighth win as a professional in Japan. And, of course, his first on the PJ Tour in Japan. Direction Munoz in with par. Last hole on the 15th, so stays at 7 under. Well, makes his life a little bit easier entering these last three holes, having a two shot lead. And with his proficiency with the irons, this is just like Ryan said, this is probably the easiest pin they've had it on the 16th green this week. Away from the water. Just the best position to putt from is about 10, 15 feet left of the pin, pin high. It's just a straight putt slightly up the hill. I think that's pretty much where Matiyama's going to be aiming. 181 yards it's playing today. And this hole, it's, it's got the look of the 16th at Augusta to it. Water short left, slopey green. Super focus. Shot lead for Matsuyama on the 16th tee. <laughs> Nervously watching this one. It's on the left portion of the green. Yeah, he was. Right to be nervous. Two, three more yards left. That could have been in the water. That actually spun right once it hit the green as well. Surprised me. A big ball out to the left is the place to be. Tom, you had a look at that putt this morning, relatively straightforward. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. You know, he'd like to be a little bit closer, of course, but that is the easiest putt on the green. There's nothing to it. Just slightly uphill. Hardly any. Nothing. Don't give the hole away. I'm standing a little bit 
further down the width. He's helping off the left. He can feel it about 70, 80 yards off the tee box, but back amongst the trees, it feels pretty still. Probably just adding an extra three or four yards at the moment. That's tasty. He's hit some great irons on this back nine. Munoz flagging another one on the part three 16th. Ryan Palmer said the approach to 15 was a shot that will win you a golf tournament. And then Matsuyama buries the putt to go up by two with the Zozo Championship. Final round of the Zozo Championship. We're on the 16th green. Hideki Matsuyama, a two-shot lead. I'm George Savarikis with Golf Channel analyst Don Boulay. Allison Whitaker is with our final group. All three tee shots on the 16th green from Hideki Matsuyama, Cameron Tringali, and Sebastian Munoz. Now it'll be Matsuyama, the leader, the first. And I have to say, this is the, it's the quickest that I've seen him get in behind a putt. He got in there, had a good look at it, put his ball straight down, took the marker away, and since then they've kind of gone through a little bit more analysis. But seemed very comfortable with this read. It is putting through the ball, flat to begin with, then up the rise. He'll move left to right. Three birdies, his last five holes. Golly, not out of this two back, but needs to strike soon. We're running out of holes at Narashino Country Club. And if he holds this, he's earned it. This is not easy. It's almost like putting around the, the lower edges of a skating bowl. Feet well above the ball. Downhill. And substantial break from left to right. He's done nothing wrong today, George. I mean, he's playing a bogey free round. He's three under par for his round. He's put pressure on Matsuyama. He took the lead for a few holes. Uh, he's, he's in a good spot. He's playing well. He's 69th in the world rankings. You know, if he stays in second place, he's going to move up close to the top 50 in the world. Everything's right about this. He's trending in the right direction. It's always those conversations done on those final days, whether someone won it or someone else lost it. And uh, when you look at Matsuyama, his press conference last night, he said, I'll win if I play well, and I'll lose if I don't. He was very matter of fact about it. Well, Apparently, he's been playing some spectacular golf today. Tringali is certainly not losing this. Matsuyama's at the moment going out and winning this, certainly on this back nine play. Good part. Matsuyama staying at 14 under with the par on 16. Munoz to get back to eight under. Nice birdie on the 16th. He's just a shot out of a tie for third. So our final group makes their way to the par. 4-17th, which has been the toughest hole out here. Yeah, but it's the fourth toughest hole today, George, but uh, it's such a long par four, 491 yards, and uh, you want to hug the left edge of that fairway, just to the right of that pine tree there, because everything kicks to the right, and if you land on the right half of the fairway, you end up in the thick rough on the right, and that leaves you such a long second shot, you may not even get to the green. Certainly not be able to get one that's close to the pin, and the pin today, there it is, right in the back left corner. Only four paces, and there's a big drop-off. 
on the left side that makes the up and down virtually impossible. Just now getting the tee on 17, Sebastian Munoz will be the first to play. We're in the section of the golf course where you don't see the sun that much anymore. It does get a little bit cooler. It was noticeably so yesterday, especially with that breeze. It's just such a lovely temperature right now. Gorgeous shot into the last as well. Setting up that birdie was, he could have putted that in with his eyes shut. A mere formality for Munoz. the right hand side at the moment switched around the way it filters through this section of the golf course can catch you off guard said my game is a one out of ten if ten out of ten was at Augusta 70 holes in a two-shot lead sorry Ali he just holds himself to such incredibly high standards though doesn't he Dom I think I was just gonna say I think he's got it back up to about eight or nine out of ten <laughs> well, he is one of the premier players in the game tree down there that's uh, about 10 15 yards inside the left rough line it was a great target here to miss it on though with that pin today I'd say it is the right hand yeah. side he's been done all, all week long he's been very good at, at missing to the right places for the most part Matsuyama Tringali's been incredibly consistent like we said not putting too many feet wrong needs to start putting the pedal down now however Big hop after landing that tee shot in the fairway. Kicks dead right into the primary cut of rough. The greatest moment of Hideki's career coming at the Masters back in April. You wonder where he would rank this week at the Zozo Championship if he can put the finishing touches on a victory here in Chiba. What a scene at Narashino Country Club. Hideki Matsuyama, the fan favorite coming into the week. Got off to that fast start on Thursday with a 64. Playing great all week. Cameron Tringali is trying to win for the first time on the PGA Tour. Hideki trailed by one at one point early on this back nine. He's now taking a two-shot lead over Tringali, who's three under on the day, and bogey free in his final round. So both these guys have been playing phenomenal here on Sunday, Ali. Certainly have. And there have been flashes of brilliance as well that have just made this crowd erupt. So many kids out here, some mini Matsuyamas perhaps, the next generation. That's the thing, when you bring tournaments like these to countries like Japan, it is usually around about a decade of lag before you see those kids grow up and take to the stage talking about how he inspired them. I'm sure we'll be hearing those stories for a long time to come. 187 from the rough, decent enough light for Cameron Tringali. Has the whole opening of the green to work with from his angle. <coughs> be landing it 
I'd imagine around about 177, and then if it jumps on him a little bit, it does have that look to it, this line. Then it'll get all the way back there. Just to subtle here, this, this is the drop off the yeah. left of the hole. Yeah. I think it's this, and it's just not like, yeah, it's yeah, just it's like not hammered. smooth the drain. Exactly what I was thinking. Right into the top. Yeah, committed to it though, right? From what I've seen of Cameron Tringali, he's better when he tries to take a little off than when he chases after it. He's, he's kind of played very much so within himself today aspect. Cameron was chatting with his caddy, Joel Stock, his second to the 17th. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he caught a massive flyer. That's not ideal mm. right there. He might make a change decision making uh, that's Yama after seeing that he's got a really different line he's uh, around about 20 yards closer 169 left but it's a very coarse grass this zoysia and he's in a cut part of it and all of the grass is running with him as opposed to back into the club as it comes through the ball I think you have to err uh, slightly on the conservative side and try and land this even with the pin 23 paces on land it say about seven or eight paces take those bunkers out of play take it from there yeah land in the middle of the green mm. just you know 20 30 feet on the green it's almost like he's going to take a three-shot lead to the he just pars it to the final hole there's plenty of green there just make sure you find it in these crucial moments Exact same thing as Tringali. Oh, Hideki. Rare miscue from Matsuyama. It's almost a carbon copy, Tom. That's strange. I mean, you know, this is always a grass. It's like, it is a little thicker, but uh, it's not like Bermuda. You don't usually catch as many flies as Bermuda. Now, Munoz. 154 left from much bare lie than the other two in the rough. Actually has a decent look at it from here. Munoz is over the green. All three approach shots to the 17th long. Hideki holding that two shot lead, two holes to go at Narashino Country Club. We are back on the 17th. Cameron Tringali, the closest challenger to Hideki Matsuyama, could be a, a swing here. This is his third. Almost as good as he could do. Almost better off being where they are than there's a big dip just left of the pin. At least now they're on the same level of the green, so they hit a high flop shot. It's got more room for it to land softly. Couldn't agree more, Dom. And that was a terrible lie, I have to say, for Cameron Tringali. Had a, a big tuft of grass behind it. Did well to generate any spin at all. Slightly more favorable for Matsuyama, who's up opening this blade up and play it like a bunker shot. Tringali makes his putt first. He's going to put a lot of pressure on that five, six footer. He's left himself here. Lovely technique. You can see fast hands through the ball. No, no, no. This entire group scrambling on the 17th. 
and once we got up to the green you could actually feel nearly a full club of wind couldn't feel that back with the second shot so i think that's the culprit as to why we've seen all three go past it here pretty constant break once it reaches the green downhill we'll move to the right just didn't catch that at all sebastian munoz leaves that one short on the 18th colin morikawa to close out his week with a birdie. This would be his second consecutive top 10 finish. The runner up last week. Final round 69, Morikawa is at five under. It's currently in a tie for seventh. Back on the 17th. Par putts across the board, Cameron Tregali be the first to give it a go. And not too bad for Hideki Matsuyama. He's going to get a pretty decent read off him. Just what you want to see. It's all in the shadows, at least. And it, it does become a part of it. It messes with your depth perception. Especially this time of day, it's going to be Munoz to go first. The first little part. So the first two feet of his putt will be relatively straight and then it'll start fading down to the right. Munoz, par putt to remain in solo fourth at eight under. Shot cushion, so a little work left for his bogey. A lot of the guys in this group took a very good look at the leaderboard. We, there aren't many of them, the electronic ones, the big ones that roll all the way through the scores, but there's a couple of mini ones that are easy to miss. This is it, though, Ali. If he wants to win, or any chance of getting his first PGA Tour win, this one, this is the putt to give him any chance at all. Slightly downhill. And off his right. He's made a lot from this length with this break and so far today. It's been rock solid. Tringale for par. And that could be the final blow to his hopes of winning for the first time on the PGA Tour. Well, second place looks like pretty secure for Cameron Tringale. It'll be his fourth runner-up finish. Because if Matsuyama makes this, he's going to have a three-shot lead entering the final hole. And a par five at that one that... He bogeyed yesterday, but... <laughs> and he had a three-shot lead going in the final hole yesterday. <laughs> well, and that's bogeyed. true. Cameron Tringali birdied, but three-shot cushion would be hard to relinquish with a par five. Uh, he tried pretty hard to make that bogey. Pretty flat. Little off his run. Matsuyama hasn't made a bogey since the eighth. Which oh, front ah. slides wide. Well, a glimmer of hope. was the first part I think I've seen him look tight on all week, Dom. The fact that it only just got there, a little bit more of an indication potentially of that. Yeah. Certainly did the stroke wasn't as free as some of the ones we've seen. Won't be a full victory lap on the 18th. 
Not yet. Not yet. Tough three putt for Munoz. Makes double. There's now a three way tie for fourth. Stand, please. One more. At six under par. And this is a look at bogey to stay two back for Tringali. Through 71 holes, Hideki Matsuyama has a two shot lead at the Zozo Championship. They head to the par 5 18th. And let's take a look at this closing hole. That's a lo lovely finishing hole. Par 5, 562 yards. And uh, very similar to the ninth hole, the shape of the tee shot. Pretty sharp dog leg. You want to take it over the you know, left bunker here, maybe even over the trees. Try and avoid going through the fairway into that bunker. Most players can reach in two. Yesterday we had four eagles on this hole, but today only one, simply because the pin today is just over this front bunker. So coming in with a long club, so hard to get it close. So the chances of Cameron Tringali making a three are going to be quite difficult. He's going to need probably make a birdie and need Matsuyama to make bogey. Well, Matsuyama finished runner-up at the Zozo back in 2019 to Tiger Woods by three. And leaving that Sunday, he said, I must have revenge next year in 2020, thinking the tournament re return. And he was saying, Tiger's coming back and I will be here. Well, just Hideki, part of the story this time. And he's close to getting his revenge and winning the Zozo for the first time. Three would like yesterday. Hit a quick hook into the trees with this club. This club, at least, what the, he's why he's using this, it won't run through the fairway into the bunker on the uh, on the right side. It's a right play, but uh, let's see if he can hit a, a better one than he did yesterday. The carry on that left bunker, 273, if you hug the trees, is 314 to the other side of the fairway. So a lot of players playing out as two just lone pine trunks kind of form a set of goals down there. Oh. Looks a little different to yesterday. Oh. Carries the bunker into the fairway. Did you see all of the tension just then, just come out of Matsuyama's shoulders? Yeah, good drive on the 72nd yeah. hole when you got a two-shot lead will do that for you. Mm. It wasn't remotely done and dusted, especially with the memories of yesterday wafting between his ears. And he's put one foot towards it, and we're finding the fairway there. Something that Cameron Tringali wants to do. Barely a breath of wind out here right now. Tringali's birdie the 18th, all three days. Looks like it's heading right. Might be in that bunker. And it, oh, well, it's a break. He's going to have to hit one left to right for the second. that all three really made of 17. Just hug that left edge of the left trees.
plenty of club to take it over them. This two is leaking out to the right. Very, very edge of the fairway on the right. Looks like it just popped into that intermediate cut. Hideki Matsuyama, up by two, has won before in Japan as a professional, but has never won a PGA Tour event in his home country of Japan, one hole away from doing it. Brendan Steele had been in the conversation at points in this back nine was just one or two off the lead. A birdie on the last. It's a final round, 66. 10 under for the week will likely be a, a solo third finish, but he's currently just one out of second where we find Cameron Tringali. Hideki Matsuyama. Up two is our final group. He's in the 18th fairway. Big hole for Munoz. Currently in a three-way tie for fourth. Birdie here. What a point, a lot of money. Not surprised to see a little bit of indecision here with the Munoz camp, just because he's got 267 yards left, but it really pinches in about 40 yards out from the green. I'm not sure how much value he, he's going to gain by trying to get it too close. I think that's what they're talking about. What's he about 260 to the front edge? 267 to the pin. I think just out to the left. Hmm, yeah, he's pulled an iron now. He'll be playing, playing to the, the wider section of the fairway. Down in that layup zone that'll leave him probably about 100 yards in. in for Munoz's third to the 18th. Not sure he caught all of that. I think he was trying to get it a good 20 yards or so down there. It was a little bit of a heavy lie with the ball above his feet in that first cut of rough. Lie for Tringali from 262 out. It's one of those hard pan lies with long grass over it. Bounce its way through. Tringali's got to make something happen. And clanking off the trees, oohs and ahs from the gallery. That's not the side to miss it on, and it seems to have kicked down towards the tenth hole there. He's going to have tree trouble. Big drop off right at the 18th down to that tenth fairway, which is one of the shallowest points of the property at Narashino Country Club. It is almost like a cliff down there. How steep that is going to be. No joy for Cameron Tringali. 241 yards left on the fairway for Matsuyama. That's a massive three wood off the tee. Goodness. Thank you. Channel, channel what he did at the sixth hole with this very club. Feeling the adrenaline in his home country. Looking to slam the door shut at the Zozo Championship. Narashino Country Club. What a moment for the Masters champion. You know, all week long, his seconds into the par fives with this club or with the three wood have been unbelievable. He's hit so many on the green and so many close too. None as close as this one. He was walking after it right after he hit it. The type of walk 
that we've seen with Tiger Woods throughout his career on the PGA Tour. And now it's Matsuyama's turn at the Zozo Championship. You're gonna win it. George win it in style. Don, he had been facing the, the pressure, the media scrutiny, the favorite coming into the room to deliver like he has so far. Well, it's amazing. It's like when Pat Perez was in the UFC. Pat says, how do you play under this pressure with so many cameras on you? Everywhere he goes, Hideki Matsuyama has 50 Japanese media people following him. And it's amazing. And, but he handles it because, you know what, he's... He's an elite player. He's actually, he's, although he's not in the top 10 in the world right now, I think he is a top 10 player in the world. What's he shown you since trailing by one and the answer he's had on this back nine? It just, you know, he's shown me patience and he just, he just knows he's a supreme ball striker and he just waits for the opportunities and then his putter got hot on this back nine because it was pretty cold on the front nine. He didn't leave himself many chances. But it just, you just have to wait for the opportunities to come and you've got to stay patient. And he did. And uh, just fabulous golf. Munoz is third. Pin just five paces on over that bunker. He'll wedge it in, little past if he can. Spin it back. It's not too bad a wedge shot. Still outside. The ball of Matsuyama. Exactly. 5,000 fans allowed in attendance each and every day. And Chiba Japan, and they are cheering on their man, Hideki Matsuyama, can enjoy this walk to the 18th grade. There were no restrictions on the numbers. Would be off the charts. It would be. Hideki was so disappointed this summer, the Tokyo Summer Games, to lose that seven man playoff for bronze to CT Pan. Now he gets his redemption a few months later at the Zozo Championship. Eventually, it'll be Cameron Tringali's third from down the hill. Ali, I know we've had you crisscrossing the entire property. <laughs> do you have eyes on where Cameron sent it up? I do, actually, uh, and I have to say, you know, it's, it's been a joy to crisscross. Uh, this is not an easy chip, I have to say, and, I, and I'm saying chip because he's got no view to the green at all. If you laid a club down on the, on the steep slope that he's on, it would almost point up at the trees that he's trying to keep it below. The grass is also growing back into him, which will make the, the ball just pop up a little bit quicker. So it's not one to, to lose your guard over. He's got a fairly long club. It's not a wedge. I think he's just trying to try get it into the front bunker alley, try and get up and down from there. I don't think he's got an angle to the front bunker, if I'm honest. I, I genuinely think he's going to be kind of trying to play just short left of it. Well, He'd have to go over a couple of heads to get to that front bunker from where he is. He's one clear of second place. Bogey's going to be very expensive. This is the game within the game. Absolutely. And a solo second, especially at this portion of the schedule, can set you up for the entire season. Third on the way for Tringali. Burrows down just off the green here, off the fairway even. Still be Tringali. Remember Munoz on the green for birdie, Matsuyama and Eagle Putt. Not he, what he want, needed to see. The ball in the thick rough. Dom, let's take another look. 
Hideki's chance to slam the door shut. And boy, did he deliver. Yeah. That swing hasn't changed very much over the years. He's done that a lot over the years. A lot of times he hits it right at the flag. That's going to be the signature moment that's played back. The 2021 Zozo Championship and Hideki winning in Japan. Zozo Championship two years ago, its debut. First time a PGA Tour event was here in Japan. And who wins? Tiger wins. And Hideki's runner up. And Hideki's runner up. Tiger matches one of the all time great records on tour. Last year, of course, they moved to California where Patrick Cantley, who's having really one of the best years, the player of the year uh, this past season, and now back in Japan, the home favorite is going to win the title. Amazing. If Sebastian Munoz can pop this in, then he would emerge from the log jam currently in a tie for fourth at six under par, shift into solo fourth. Ali, what's the scene like around the 18th? Incredible. <laughs> Everyone is waiting with bated breath. They have been so silent in the moments that they needed to and so loud in those moments that Hideki Matsuyama has given them to cheer for today. Yeah, it'll be fitting if he can hold the putt for an eagle. to play first and they are makeable parts just slightly downhill all in the shadow which we know helps and everything here falls to the, the front left edge of the green which is down to their right for birdie in a final round 69. It's a round of 70. A tie for fourth. Good draw, a good week for Sebastian Munoz. Cameron Tringali will play next to clear the way for Hideki Matsuyama. And what a classy display it's been from Tringali. I, I feel like he really won the crowd over this weekend from the way that they interacted with him, from the way that he inter interacted back. He's been walking up the fairways and little clusters of people uh, from Japan have been yelling out his name. And he goes and, you know, does one of his signature thumbs up, which I think is going to be his trademark going forward. Yeah, he said, I'm trying to mirror their positive, fun, and happy energy back and let them know I'm enjoying being here. It's played that way. It's, it's been reflected on his scorecard as well. This is a part of some importance for Tringali. Tringali to match his best finish on the PGA Tour. Park putt for solo second, out to the right. <laughs> Tringali cards a 69 in the final group of Matsuyama. Maybe a tie for second with Brendan Steele. 
So a three-shot lead for Matsuyama. This would just be the second eagle of the day on the 18th for Hideki to win by five. Zozo Championship Dom, the two biggest wins of his career happening in the span of six months. Absolutely magnificent. What a back nine. He lost the lead for the first time in two and a half days. And then to produce a 32 on the back nine and a refine around 65 and an eagle on the last, what a fitting way to end it. And what a final round for Hideki Matsuyama. A 65, the final tally. 15 under for the week, a five-shot victory over Brendan Steele and Cameron Tringali. And that is Hideki's seventh win on the PGA Tour now. First time he's won on the PGA Tour in his home country of Japan. You know this has to be a special victory for him. And while we have a moment, let's send it down to Allison Whitaker. What an incredible atmosphere it's been today, partially because of the crowds, but also because of the storyline that has unfolded here in Japan. And it's been a fairy tale year already for Hideki Matsuyama. Adding to that now, how special is it to win at home? So, yes, I'm a lot of people who are supporting me. I'm very happy to be able to play in front of so many fans. It's just great to be able to play in front of so many fans here in Japan. And to be able to play well, I'm, I'm thrilled. When was the moment today that you started to loosen up, that you started to relax and you realised that potentially the title was going to be yours? Probably the second shot there at 18. Yeah, that was, that was the, uh, the clincher. And that was truly special. We could see the tension go out of his shoulders. What a win it was. Congratulations. You are the Zozo champion for 2021. Hideki Matsuyama. Thank you. I can see the uh, emotion for Hideki Matsuyama. And what a signature moment on the last. Day. Yeah, look at the crowd in the background. It's kind of reminiscent of the Masters when they hold a putt. You see the crowd raise their hands and uh, brilliant moment. Great for golf in this region, obviously. Matsuyama making 20. win by five an eagle on the last <laughs> certainly a way to make it memorable well the thing is people are going to see the scores tomorrow morning they're going to look and go oh <laughs> it was an easy win for Hideki Matsuyama but far from it I mean he had lost the lead early in this back nine but uh, brilliant golf the updated FedEx Cup standings Hideki Matsuyama in third just a half a point behind Sunjay in Colin Morikawa, you see it in seventh. Finished in a tie for seventh this week. Morikawa now up to second in the World Golf Ranking stop. Yeah, and he's going to be threaten, uh, threatening John Rahm fairly shortly too, I think. And Hideki Matsuyama is going to be making a big move thanks to his win at the Zozo Championship. Make sure and join us next week as we make our way to Bermuda for the Butterfield Bermuda Championship. First round coverage Thursday at 1.30 Eastern time. What a week it was here in Chiba, Japan. A big thank you to everyone behind the scenes just to get our broadcast on the air for all four rounds at Narashino Country Club. For Don Boulay, Allison Whitaker, big thank you to our producer, Glenn Savatsky, director, Brian Hennessy. Hope you enjoyed it. From the Zozo Championship, Hideki Matsuyama, your winner.